Recording your screen using PowerPoint is possible. That's right. In this tutorial, you will see how to record your screen using PowerPoint. Not only that, you will also see how to trim your video, how to export your video as an MP4 file so that you can upload it to YouTube, Vimeo or Microsoft Stream. And also at the end of the tutorial, I will show you a neat little trick on how you can zoom in and out of your screen while you're recording it and how to add screen annotations, markups, drawing on the screen. So this works with the desktop version of PowerPoint 2016 onwards. So if you are using the online version, it's not going to work for you. I'm Simon. This is Computer Tutoring. Let's get going. Great. So uh, before we start, just to let you know, we do PowerPoint training either online or face to face. So please check out our website. If you're an Instagrammer or a Twitterer, check us out there as well. So I know some of you are just wanting to get straight to it. So how do we do it? Well, we've got a PowerPoint uh, screen in front of us here. So what I'm going to do is just click on new just at the top just here. Uh, and then I'm going to click on blank, blank presentation just here. Okay, so I start off with a blank presentation. I don't want these sort of placeholders here. So what I'm just going to do is go to layouts just at the top and use blank to get rid of that. And it makes it nice and clear. Obviously, I want to record something. So I'm just going to record our website and how you can get free PowerPoint tutorials on our website. So first thing I'm going to do is just prepare the website. And there we go. That looks like it's good enough for Google. Let's just go back. And I'm going to go to insert here at the top. Insert and then all the way across to screen recording. So insert and screen recording. So I've got this little menu here at the top. So just one thing just to um, pay attention to is the shortcuts. Knowing the shortcuts will really help you out. So you can see recording, Windows key, Shift and R. To stop recording, Windows key, Shift and Q. Uh, I've got one here as well, which I've got the Windows key Shift and A, which is select the screen. And then there's also the U and also the O if I want to turn the pointer on and off. So uh, there, so the pointer on and off, U for muting. Um, and then you've got the select the screen area there. What I'm just going to do is select the screen. So if I select screen and I'm going to select pretty much the whole screen there. In fact, you can select a particular area if you want to hide some things on your taskbar if you want to as well. But I'm just going to do the whole screen and then I'm just going to click on record. Three, two, one, and it's ready to record there. So yeah, it's ready to go. If I move off the um, uh, those buttons at the top, I can just bring them up and hover them. That's great. Or I can pin them if I want to, if I want them up there permanently, but I'm just going to unpin them. And so they're going to scroll back. That's great. So now what I can do is I can click on Google here and go through the presentation and computer tutoring. There we go. Find our website. There we go. There's our website there. That's great. Uh, to find our free PowerPoint tutorials, go to online training, go to pre-recorded videos, and we go to PowerPoints just here. And then you've got the different PowerPoint tutorials, or you can click in the search box box here and type in PowerPoint, which will give our PowerPoint tutorials. When we want to finish our recording, it's Windows Shift and Q. Brilliant. And then we can see our video here at the top. And if I want to see the video, then I can click on this little play button just here. And it's ready to record there. So yeah, it's ready to go. If I... And I've got a little thing I can adjust the, the video where I want to here. And that's great. Brilliant. So next thing we might want to do is trim the video. Maybe a video that we do is never perfect. So we might have to trim things at the beginning or the end or, or whatever. Or maybe we've done a whole long video and we're going to do multiple duplicates and, 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 and trim different parts. But how do we trim it? So notice when I click on the video, if I click off the video, when I click on the video here at the top, I get a video format and playback tabs on the ribbon. So if I click on the playback tab, and then over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on trim video just here. So if I click on trim video, then I've got options here so I can adjust the video here to see how I want to trim it. There we go. Uh, I'm OK with this one here. That's fine. But I should click on OK and the video is trimmed. There you go. So now you've seen how to record your screen with PowerPoint and also how to trim that recording as well. 
Now, the next stage is how to export. What you just do is you just right click on the video and go down to, and you see it says save media as. Click on save media as. I decide where I'm gonna put this, so desktop's as good as one as any. And then I can call this one PowerPoint um, free vids. There we go. Uh, click on save. There we go. And then if I just want to see how that video works there, there's my PowerPoint free vids. There's a couple I've done earlier here. So let's just double click and open that one up. There we go. So just play the video. And it's ready to record there. So and you can so see the go. video. The, uh... And you can see the video there. So the next thing that we're going to do is how we could zoom in and zoom out using Windows. So let's just do that in another slide. So I'm just gonna go to home, and new slide and blank. I'm gonna record the screen. So we're gonna do this again, but we're just going to zoom in and out. Let me just set this back up. So I'm back up at Google. There we go, brilliant. Okay. So let's go to record the screen now. So if we go to insert and screen recording, uh, this time again, I'm going to record the whole screen. Remember, we can select the area here or use the window key, uh, Shift and A, and it allows me to select the whole area or I can select a specific area if I want to. Let's do a specific area this time. That's great. Great. Um, so now what I'll do there is I'm going to record. Great. So three, two, one ready to record the video. So now I can click in here. Now, what I can do is hold down the Windows key and plus on the keyboard and it will zoom in on the screen. Hold the Windows key again and plus, it zooms in again. So I can really be clear as to how or what I'm typing. Here we go, there we go. Windows key and minus allows me to zoom out. There we go. So let's just go down if I really wanna concentrate on our website here. So there we go, Windows key and plus to zoom in. Uh, and then I can click on the website and people can see Windows key and minus to zoom out. Now, um, this is using uh, some Windows software, the magnifier. So uh, if it's not available and it's not seeming to work well with you, what you might wanna do is if I press Windows key and plus, wait a second and you see I've got these things here that pop up and also I've got this uh, magnifier here that pops up. I just minimize that and then I might have to just press a plus again Okay, so it might be a bit of fiddling around. So if Windows key and plus doesn't work immediately, try it again, Windows key and plus, and minimize that magnifier window. Great, I think that's fine with the recorder. So I'm gonna go Windows key, Shift and Q to quit. Click I'm on play. Ready to record the video. So now I can click in here. Now, what I can do is hold down the Windows key and plus on the keyboard and it will... And there you go. You can see that the video, it had zoomed in on that section there. So absolutely great. Great, so as you're still here, as you're still watching, we're gonna have a little treat. I'll show you a neat little trick on how to draw annotations and markups so you can mark up your screen. So before you do that, you're going to need to download some software. So there's this one here at the bottom, it's called Zoomit. And in fact, Zoomit is what I'm using to draw that little arrow and the other screen annotations that you've seen before. So I'll give you the link above so you can um, download it. Uh, the software and it installs and it runs on your system tray just down here. There it is, just there. Zoom it. So once you've downloaded that, what happens is if I click on it, in fact, you can use it to zoom in as well. Um, but here we go. Uh, so if I go to draw, you can use control key two. That's the shortcut key to start drawing the uh, annotations. So let's give this a go by recording a new video. So I'm going to go to home and new slide and blank. Uh, then I'm going to go to inserts and screen recording. So it's going to start recording the screen. Uh, it's recording the whole screen there. In fact, remember the select area and I can click and draw to record the screen in PowerPoint. And then I'm going to click on record. Three, two, one. So the PowerPoint recording has started. We are going to click on online training. So I hold down control and press two to go into the screen markup or annotation mode based on Zoom it. I'm then gonna hold down the control key on the keyboard and draw a box around the area I want to highlight. And you can see there that the area is highlighted there. I can then press escape on the keyboard and that comes out of that. So literally control two, hold down control, draw a box, press escape. Now apart from squares, you can also draw other things as well. So let me just show you. So control two, if I hold down the tab key on the keyboard, I can draw a circle or an ellipse egg shape, uh, okay? Uh, and if I hold down control and shift, I can draw an arrow. Now just um, one word to the wise basically with this, that 
with the arrow, when you're drawing the arrow, wherever you start drawing from, that's where the arrow head will be. So just be careful if I, if I'm wanting to point to online training, if I just press escape to come out of that and control two to go in. So if I want to click on online training here, I control shift, click and drag down this one here. And you can see the arrow head there at the beginning. Let's do control two. And I want to do the text to yellow. So I'm going to type yellow here. If I type in T, if I press there, then I can just type in There we go. So I can type in my text when I'm finished escape to come out of that. Great. So I can finish recording. So Windows shift and Q to finish recording. Uh, and there we have our video. And if I go through, you can hear me. PowerPoint recording has started. Just, just bring my volume down here a second. So now you'll be able to see the annotations on the screen. <laughs> Eventually. There we go. All right. That's good. Let me just stop that one there. So that's it, basically, how to use PowerPoint to record your screen. Amazing, isn't it? You wouldn't think that this stuff came free with PowerPoint. Remember, it's the desktop version only, it's not the online version. So if you've got anything out of this tutorial video, make sure you click on subscribe and click on the notification so you don't miss any future PowerPoint tutorials. Uh, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, check us out. If you've uh, got comments or if you've got any suggestions on how you, what you do to record your screen, then leave them below. Love to hear from you. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and take care, guys.